Viewmasters, it's the podcast that we do. Viewmasters, talk about movies that we view. Viewmasters, my friend Eric and me, Joe. Viewmasters, hey, let's start the show. Hey, welcome to the Viewmasters, episode 334, The Innkeepers. My name is Joe. My name is Eric. Hello, Eric. Hello, Joe. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm also okay. <laughs> it's good to hear. <laughs> I'm doing better than the titular innkeepers. Yeah, they uh, they have a rough go of things. They do. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought maybe it was a movie about evil innkeepers. Oh, okay. I think that's what I was expecting going in. Is is that why you had an issue last week with the uh, the definition of what an inn is? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, let's get into that. Oh, God, I forgot about this. Okay. <laughs> now, this is an inn. Yeah, oh, okay. I get it. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, I, an inn, to my mind, is just like a house that's been converted into uh, places where people can stay, which I guess this is not a house. Yeah. It's, it's a it's, building. Yeah. It's more of a hotel. It, it is, yeah. Yeah. All right, fine. The Hotel Keepers. <laughs> Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Not really. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, like an inn would be when I think of an inn. Um, so, so we briefly talked about Gilmore Girls before the movie started. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we had a guest with us watching sure. the movie. Um, and uh, and when I think of an inn, I think of the inn that Laurel I ran on Gilmore Girls. Which was, basically, it was just like a big house okay. with a bunch of rooms uh, that had been converted into guest rooms. Right. Sort of like a like a fancy bed and breakfast, but maybe without the breakfast. Okay. Though I think there was food on Gilmore Girls, too. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. It didn't seem like there was a kitchen. Uh, I mean, they had a dining room. They did have a dining room, that's true. So, you know, I would assume hmm. there was a kitchen as well. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, I believe uh, the the second Bob Newhart show, uh, just titled Newhart, okay, uh, took place at an inn. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, which I think also was pretty much just like a big house that they rented out rooms. There. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Maybe it has to do too with the way that the rooms are furnished. Could be because uh, the way that the rooms were furnished in. In uh, this movie, mm-hmm. uh, was very homelike, uh, also very dated. Yes. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that's part of what differentiates uh, an inn from a hotel. I mean, I do imagine something more, you know, old timey. Yeah. Uh, you know, quaint even. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, also, and and I don't know why, but just almost exclusively in the uh, north uh, northeast. I can definitely see that as well. Yeah, yes. the, the New England area. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget where where Stars Hollow is located, <laughs> uh, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> but I do believe it is it is New England. Okay, like Connecticut, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've never seen more than like five minutes of that show. Yeah. All right. Just lots of. Fast talking by very attractive women. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. You should watch more. Because <laughs> it's more of that. <laughs> and I get that uh, by talking to my girlfriend. So. Fair enough. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh, the innkeepers. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so you picked this movie. Yes, I did. Because you like this movie. I do. Uh, what do you like about this movie? Um, it's, uh, it's spooky. It is spooky. It's tense. It is. Uh, it's it's very well acted. Yeah. Uh, very well shot. Uh, I think it builds a lot of mood and has a lot of atmosphere. It's a, it's a very slow burn kind of movie. Yeah. Uh, do you like a lot of ghost stories? I do. Okay. I like some ghost stories. I'm not sure that a ghost story really does it for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you got against a ghost story? I don't know that I really have anything against a ghost story. I feel like I've sort of seen the definitive ghost story, which is The Shining. Mm. Eh. Yeah. 
I don't care for The Shining. Okay, I think well, we've, that's we've fair. kind of talked about that before. Yeah. Um, and, and that mostly just may be because years of overhype before I actually ever watched it. Sure. So, you know, that, that'll ruin a thing for you. It will, definitely. See me and Donnie Darko. I, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> All right, mental note, yeah. never pick Donnie Darko. You could pick it, I'd be okay to watch it. <laughs> I like that movie, but I'm probably okay never seeing it again. Yeah. I mean, I own it, but, you know, it, it, can, it can sit on my shelf and just be a collector's item. Sometimes things are just nice to have on the shelf. Yeah. Just in case. Support physical media. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I had a friend on uh, on Facebook talking about how she started buying DVDs because uh, there's stuff that she wanted to watch that's not available to stream. Yep. Uh, and I was basically like, yes. Physical media forever. Mm-hmm. And she uh, she said that her problem now is finding out where to store them. Uh, and I told her, just do what I do and uh, admit that they will take over your life. <laughs> and, and and this is coming from someone who collects comic books. Yeah. Toys. Uh-huh. And movies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the odd CD and DVD as well. Oh, sure, CD sure. record, rather, as well. <laughs> books. <laughs> Oh, yeah, books. I have, books. I have many, many problems. You know what? Hard same. <laughs> I, I mean, I had to move to a full house from an apartment just so that I would have room for my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and there's still not enough room. I do. I think that is the main reason that people buy houses <laughs> or move into houses. Probably. It's just yeah. for all their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, physical, you know, physical media, books, comics, whatever, children. Right. Children count as stuff as well, in they do. my opinion. I absolutely agree. Yeah. <laughs> Though that's maybe burdens more yeah. than stuff. Yeah, sure. But then those kids, they get stuff, too. That's true. <laughs> Oof. Yep. Endless cycle of stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, you remember my old apartment. There was crap everywhere. That's true. Could, could barely walk around. That's true. And now at least there's clear paths to things here. Right. <laughs> Oh, those were the days, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, you know, don't go into the second bedroom, ever. Right. <laughs> Say no more. Because the ghost lives there. Exactly, yeah. The ghost <laughs> of Madeline O'Malley. Yes. Was that her name? Yeah. Okay, I knew it was Madeline. I couldn't remember her last name. <laughs> uh, something Irish. Yeah, yeah. Madeline O'Flanagan. Madeline? I lost it. <laughs> Faith and Bagora. The Innkeepers. So I take it you did not care for this movie. It was fine. Okay. I, am, I enjoyed watching it. I did think the performances were good. All right. Um, the, the lead actress, uh, maybe it is just because I had Girl More Girls on the brain, but the lead actress reminded me a lot of uh, Alexis Bledel from Girl More Girls. I can absolutely see that. Yeah. I, I feel like uh, I'd probably gotten the, the too confused... Uh, you know, before seeing her and other things. What and, else has she been in? Uh, she's in a movie that I enjoy called uh, Cheap Thrills. Uh, All right. Uh, also starring uh, her co-star in this movie, uh, Pat Healy. Nice. Um, and uh, David Keckner is in that movie. Oh, awesome. And, uh, that's the movie that I've heard uh, this story. I, I talked to him about. It. That's funny. I was uh, when uh, when the celebrity checked into the hotel, and that sounds like oh, it's just like. Yeah. Just like Eric and David Kackner. Also, I really connect to this movie because I've worked at hotels numerous times. That's true. You know, that makes sense, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I've been watching a lot of stuff with Widows recently. Oh. Oh. Self-sing? <laughs> Self-burn? <laughs> I don't know. You're just talking about watching Black Widow over and over Exactly, again, right? yeah. I mostly just, yeah. I just, I really <laughs> like uh, Florence Pugh. She's great. <laughs> she is the best part of that movie. She's so good. <laughs> uh, that's cool that they were in that, though. I didn't, didn't realize that. Did, yeah. uh, did Is it Ty West? Uh, I believe that's how you would pronounce it. Did, did they direct that movie as well? Uh, no. Okay. No. Uh, Ty West has kind of blown up in the last couple of years. Did they do X? Uh, he, he did X. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, and it's a sequel 
slash prequel. Yeah. Pearl. Pearl. Yeah. And I believe a third uh, in a trilogy coming out called Maxine. Okay. With three X's. Didn't X and Pearl come out like the same year? Uh, no. No, okay. Yeah, like a year apart. Okay. Yeah. I thought those came out like really close together. No, no. I, I still have not seen either any of them. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, X is on my, my list with with uh, my lady friend. Okay. Uh, we, we have not gotten to it, and I, I don't think it's streaming anywhere. It is. Um, so you have Paramount Plus, right? Yes. So I guess Paramount Plus now, uh, Showtime used to be an add-on. Okay. Now it's on there by default. Okay. And, uh, and X and Pearl are both uh, part of the Showtime add-on to Paramount Plus, so... Yeah, it doesn't cost anything extra. Okay. As far, um, I mean, as far as I know, I don't think the price for Paramount Plus went up, but one day I woke up and I had Showtime stuff available well, to me. That's awesome. Yeah. Because uh, I was flipping through the movies on there the other day, and uh, like a lot of them like said, you know, Showtime. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I guess I can't watch those. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys in on a little secret here. I am... Uh, it's not my Paramount Plus account. I am using somebody else's. And, what? And, uh, you know, it's it's all uh, a little under the board there. Yeah, you, you heard it here first. Eric is password sharing. <laughs> Paramount Plus. Yep. Scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> Scandal rocks the Viewmasters community. <laughs> as Eric admitted to not paying for his own Paramount Plus. <laughs> you know what? I pay for some of my other stuff, so yeah, yeah it's fine. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> um, speaking of streaming services, uh, this movie is available on Peacock. Yeah. Uh, but we watched it on my Blu-ray because, as we discussed last week, fuck Peacock. Yeah. Peacock will automatically start random whatever Yep. once what you're watching is over. <laughs> And I assume you didn't want to uh, continue to have based on a true story and you're continue watching. No, nope, poor, you know, Love Island or whatever yeah. the hell else that they have on there. Yeah. Possibly even just the Tour de France. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Which, uh, whenever I log into Peacock, it just, it looks like it says Toys de France. <laughs> Aww. Wow, that's really disappointing. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I would love to see some French toys. <laughs> Le toys that made us. <laughs> Le toy biz. Yes. Oh, hey. Relevant <laughs> to my interests. You know what I'm into right now. Yeah. <laughs> Still got that bat wing for sale. I know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the innkeepers. <laughs> yes. Uh, creepy haunted inn. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. When, uh, when, oh crap, what's her name? So his name is Luke, right? Yeah. And her name is, uh, Casey? No, that's not it. Close. Claire. Claire, thank you. Yeah. Uh, when Claire, uh, got there for work, and there's just a sign on the door that says going out of business. Yeah. I don't feel like that's a thing that a hotel would do. Like, they're not selling fixtures and stuff, are they? I mean, maybe they are. Maybe. You know, just uh, sell off some, some uh, you know, that, that collateral. Could be. Uh, yeah. You know, who knows? Oh, I, I mean, that would have been interesting. You get a few more characters involved. People sure. People coming in to buy beds or right. couches or whatever. I mean, it's got to go somewhere, right? That's true. You just can't throw all that stuff away. And some of it seems old and, and probably valuable. Probably. And, and I believe it seemed to be a privately owned inn. Yeah, and it was established, uh, according to the sign out front, uh, the Yankee Peddler was established in 1891. Yep. Which, like, I'm watching this and I'm like, why don't they, like, did they apply for some sort of historic status? Like, I bet they probably could have become a nonprofit. And uh, and and save some money that way and keep the place open. I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know, I, it, I guess it depends if anyone uh, historic ever stayed there or not. So. Well, I mean, uh, Lee, what's her nuts from the TV <laughs> show like Mother Like Son stayed there at least one night. True, uh, but also in real life, having. Uh, sort of been on the peripheral of dealing with uh, a, a historical society. Uh, and uh, attempting to, to save buildings, uh, sometimes they just don't give a shit. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> you just think, well, this is not worth saving. <laughs> maybe the maybe the murder and the subsequent cover up also made it the thing that people didn't want to invest time into. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is disappointing. Well, sure. It's a neat looking building. I mean, it, it was. It seemed huge. Yeah. Had had at least uh, fifty three rooms per floor. Right. <laughs> I would guess. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I almost wondered if maybe the room numbers, like, once they end on the second floor, continue on the third floor just with a three at the beginning, because the building did not look that big. No. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I, I know. All I know is at my hotel. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, 301 to, to 330. Right. And, you know, yeah. Well, you're, you're in a hotel. This it's, is an inn. Very true. <laughs> I also could have sworn when uh, when Claire took the trash out uh, and saw Lee up in the window that Lee was way higher up than the second floor. <laughs> Pretty sure she was <laughs> on the third floor. Maybe she was up there investigating things. Could be. Um, also, maybe uh, they just the first floor has really high ceilings. Maybe. <laughs> high ceilings with windows up towards the top. Sure. <laughs> okay. That's a normal thing. You know these old buildings. I mean, maybe, I mean there's a banquet room. Maybe there was like a dance hall or something yeah. in there. Uh, like in The Shining? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a big-ass chandelier. You know, yeah. So you, know, you got to hang that from somewhere. You can't have standard eight-foot-tall ceilings or whatever. That's true. That is actually a very valid point. <laughs> All right, you, you've got me. I stand corrected. Welcome to the Architecture Cast. <laughs> Where we talk exclusively about the architecture of hotels and inns. But only in movies we've watched. The architecture. That didn't really work. Yeah. Eh, whatever. It was a good shot. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, uh, talking to, uh, to my lady friend this morning. Uh, she ordered Duncan. Uh, for breakfast, and it arrived in a bag that was soaking wet, and all the f- none of the food was edible. <laughs> like I guess whoever was delivering it may probably just spilled coffee all over it, all right. and then was like, "Here, I'll just leave it for you anyway." That's awful. And uh, and I referred to it as the Duncan debacle or Dunk Bockle. <laughs> she was quite tickled. <laughs> I'm on her side there. Thank yeah. You. yeah. <laughs> uh, did. But on, on the other hand, had that happened to me, I would just be fucking furious. Oh, yeah, no, she was real mad, too. Okay, all right. <laughs> 100%. All right, all right. <laughs> no amount of wordplay will change how angry she was. <laughs> did you get a refund, at She least? did get a refund. Good, yes. all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, DoorDash is real good about that. Okay, that's good. Well, yeah, we, we've had some experiences. But, True. You know, whatever. True. Oh, so yeah, the uh, this is the last weekend for the Yankee Peddler. Yes. And uh, the the two innkeepers, Claire and Luke, are amateur ghost hunters. Yep. And of course, it just so happens that the hotel is haunted. Sure. Maybe that's why they started working Maybe there. Maybe that is why they started working there. Yeah. I mean, Claire is who knows what between things, or she just works at the, at the inn. Yeah. And, uh... She's apparently dropped out of college. Right. Yeah, Yeah, they both have. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Makes makes people who work at hotels seem like real losers. (laughs) No, again, they work at an inn. (laughs) You are on a career track. In the hotel business. (laughs) No, I am not. (laughs) Don't close any doors. You know what? Be open to opportunities as they present themselves. (laughs) You never know. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so movies basically just follows them that last weekend, and they're sort of trying to make contact with the ghost of Madeline O'Malley, who killed herself on her wedding night. I believe so. In yep. the in the hotel a long time ago. I did not catch how long ago it was. Uh, early nineteen hundreds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If if it said in is established in eighteen ninety one. Right. Uh, and they closed it for a long time and uh, didn't reopen it till the 60s. Yeah. So. I also was unclear about when the movie was set. 
Uh, I mean, there's laptops. There's laptops, sure, but there's no there's no cell phones. No, no that no. I recall. No, I didn't see one. Yeah. Um, the TVs, I believe, are CRTs. Yeah, they were they were pretty old tube TVs. Yeah, so yeah, that could just be uh, you know an outdated in. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I did not check to see when this movie actually came out. I know I, I told you and, and my lady friend has been around. 2010 or so, right. but uh, you know, I did not verify. I just I remember seeing it in like 2012, 2013. Yeah. So yeah. it just I, I I think I feel like the timeline. I didn't even really think about it um, until the old man checked in, mm-hmm. um, and then I like I, I couldn't remember exactly what happened with Madeline O'Malley. Like if it was that her her husband left her. Or like abandoned her on their wedding night, or or stood her up at the altar, or what it was. But then, but then they started thinking like, was that, was that her husband? Came yeah. back to to kill himself there. There 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 is sort of a weird correlation. I feel like, yeah. but but I don't I don't think it was connected. Okay, you know, I, I, just coincidental. Yeah, uh, just I mean, you know, not not to bring up uh, that other movie again, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, like The Shining, just, you know, things repeat itself. You sure. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, lot, lots of tragedies can happen uh, over and over again in a hotel. That's true. In. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You know, I work at a Holiday Inn. Yeah? Oh, shit, but that's a hotel. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a, is it IHG Brands? It is. Uh, yeah, get get your get your shit together, IHG. Which is it? <laughs> is it inn or hotel, guys? Get it, IHG. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it does stand for: inns, hotels, guys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That'd be really something. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> Might actually have a little bit of respect for them after that. Me too, actually. Yeah, really into that. Yep. Yeah. Proud to use that employee discount. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I got an ice cube. <laughs> Sorry, right? I did not mean to. It just happened. So it's been a good day. Yeah. Okay. And today was a good day. I didn't even have to use my AK. Gotta say. Oh, I had something I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, I I felt like like the thing with the with the guy that checked in. Yeah. Um, I feel like there were things that were sort of being set up, or like I felt like were set up for things that didn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like the towels thing. Like I thought for sure, oh, the ghosts are stealing the towels for some reason, <laughs> and, and and I was waiting for that to pay off, and it just never did. I I, I think that. Goes along with with sort of, at least what I think is that the movie is trying to set it up to have both ways. Okay, could be ghosts, could just be perfectly naturally explained things happening. Okay, uh, with like you know one or two things that kind of go against that, like the uh, uh, all the know. shots that we see of ghosts. Well, <laughs> so or that, are those all from Claire's perspective? See that that's it. You okay. Know? Uh, but like the piano thing, yeah, you know, I feel. It. But again, that could just be her being spooked, yeah, and and making it up. Who knows? Because because obviously it, it sets up that Luke is uh, making shit up too, right? That's you know? fair. That's a good point. And like the the video that she looks at earlier of the door slowly closing, you uh-huh. know, could just be some dude behind there, right? Probably Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was evidence of ghosts. <laughs> Visitors were there. <laughs> uh, I mean, so yeah, I I like this movie a lot, but but you know, it's certainly not perfect. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, I I don't mean to tear it apart. No, you're fine because I, I did I did really enjoy watching it. Okay, and, and and like I said, I thought the performances were really good. Um, maybe I was looking for. I, I shouldn't hold the fact that I was looking for things that were not there against it. Yeah. Because um, if I just take it for what it gives me, it's very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
the shit. I also, know. Lena Dunham is in this movie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Uh, probably, you know, doing a favor for Mr. West. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> who, who knows? I mean, it is like a five second roll. It was the best use of Lena Dunham that I've ever seen. Uh, same. <laughs> She's the annoying girl. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> uh, so annoying, she drives people away without even getting the coffee that they ordered. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I could see myself doing that, too. I could absolutely just, see myself. Just absolutely turning around and walking away. Yeah. Like, I can't handle this right now. Yep. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Next time I'll have someone deliver it to me. <laughs> hopefully not in a soaking wet bag. No, hopefully not. No more dunk bottles. <laughs> I know that uh, I have been at Mavericks before, and someone is just flat out talking to me, and I have just turned around and walked out the door. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I know Jason understands when you do it to him. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your, your rate limit has been exceeded. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> oh, it was not Jason. Oh, okay. It was Jeremy. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> also checks out. <laughs> um, I do have one major issue with this movie that, that has bugged me ever since I saw it, like, ten years ago or whatever. No nudity? Uh, well, okay, two major issues <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> shower scene there is come on yeah. no okay go ahead come Sorry. on she's hot <laughs> anyway no go ahead uh so claire has asthma yes Chekhov's inhaler um i have asthma yes uh that is not how you uh use inhalers no okay <laughs> that was another thing Chekhov's inhaler never came into play no not really yeah i mean me Kinda, sorta? Maybe. I mean... I guess you could maybe say that, uh, because she did not apparently have the inhaler uh, when she was trapped in the basement. Yeah. Maybe that is what killed her and not a ghost? I I believe, yes. That that is what would lead you to believe, yes. And again, you know, it's kind of saying, you know, could be ghost? Yeah. Mm, Probably, maybe not. Yeah. You know, and then, uh, that's why I like it. The the movie is a lot slower than I recalled it being. It was very slow. Uh, It's also a lot funnier than I remembered it being, too. (laughs) Yeah. It was really entertaining. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, uh, Claire and Luke had a lot of good chemistry. Mm -hmm. Uh, even, even when it got weird and awkward. Yeah. Oh, it didn't need to do that. Yeah. So, and I'm sorry, I interrupted you while you were talking about how asthma works. Oh, yeah, you know, it's just like every five minutes she's just taking a puff on her inhaler. That is some really poorly controlled asthma. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. Yeah. Uh, no, it just, uh, I don't like how asthma works in the most any movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh... Uh, like s- people who are who become super reliant on their inhalers, and like every little thing that happens, they they need a hit off of that thing so that they can just breathe. Yeah, yeah no, that's not how it works. Otherwise, I'd just be sucking out mine all the time. <laughs> I mean, no judgment. Yeah. What you gotta do. <laughs> Maybe she was just getting high. You know, what could be. Yeah. This movie needed drugs. Maybe it was a CBD inhaler. Yes. <laughs> CBD, THC, good stuff. <laughs> well, take your word for it. I don't know either. All right. Uh, no. I'm making things up. That's <laughs> what we do here. It's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, the Innkeepers. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that I saw it. I'm, I'm glad you watched it. Yeah. Uh, I can see why you like it for sure. Okay, make you jump at all at any point. Um, uh, other than the the completely obvious, uh, <laughs> this is going to happen. Yeah, uh, and and still you jumped scene. I don't know. 
I don't know if I really did jump at all. Okay. Maybe the bird. When the bird flew out of the basement. Well, birds are assholes. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Come on. Come on, birds. Get it together. How did that bird get down there? Uh. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, no, it it was definitely suspenseful. Um, I mean, there's a lot of creeping around in the dark, uh, which I hate. Sure. Do not care for that at all. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and just good good performances and entertaining story. I liked, I liked how contained it was. Like it almost felt like, uh, that movie session nine that we watched. Oh, where yeah. They like found an abandoned mental hospital or whatever. And we're like, let's film a thing here. Yeah. Like this almost felt like we've got this hotel. Let's film a thing here and make it spooky. I, I think that's pretty much exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, it was, it was solid. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. It's it's a good movie, and, and I think all your your points uh, you know, not against it, but but uh, questions about it are all valid. So, yeah. You know. But it sounds like sort of what they were going for. Yeah. So I I I think it maybe could have been a little bit. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say they could have made it more obvious because then it makes it sound like I need to be hit over the head. But sometimes I do need to be fucking hit over the head. I mean, <laughs> so just a little bit. Everyone does at some point. <laughs> um, I, I feel like maybe some of the the tension and and the ghost should have been spread out throughout the movie. Yeah, it's like the first two acts are very. Not ghost heavy at all. Yeah, uh, and it's character building, and, and that is also good. But you can do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you notice at the end uh, when the, the slow pan to the room and the door closes? Yeah, uh, like just before the credits start. Yeah, she's in the room. Is she? Yeah, I did not see her in the room. Yeah, where was she? Uh, staring out the window. What? And she turns her head to the viewer just as the door closes. Is it just like a... What the fuck? Yep. What? Yep. No. Yep. (laughs) I may have... I feel like I may have been, like, looking away because I knew there was a jump scare coming. (laughs) So maybe that's why I missed that. Was she standing there for a long time? No, it's super quick. Okay. Uh, She kind of like fades in and then, yeah, it's just like a subtle head turn and then, boom, door closes. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. No, I, I, because I think I expected it to be like the video thing that that, uh, Luke makes her watch. (laughs) That fucking thing on the, on the internet that gets me every goddamn time. Yeah, that thing's the worst. Yeah. (laughs) But like, is that this movie? (laughs) I can't decide. (laughs) Yeah, no shit. I will have to. I will have to go back and, and actually pay attention to that and not hide. <laughs> uh, so I think the first time that I watched this, so uh, this was on Netflix. Okay. Uh, and I remember it getting to that point, and like you know, I saw the door close and you know, credits, and I was like, "Well, that seemed weird." Yeah. And it's like there, there had to be something more than just the door closing. Why would it just stay? on the window for so long yeah and so i mean it took me like three or four times of rewinding it before i caught it so is she like reflected in the window no or no she's, she's actually there she's in the room yeah. okay yeah. Hmm. interesting yep all right i'll look it up on youtube or something yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> or i guess watch it on peacock and just fast forward to the end. I mean, it's probably going to kick you off to, you know... <laughs> That's true. Based on a true story. <laughs> that 70s show. Aww. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. The Rockford Files. <laughs> hey, that'd be okay. Yeah, I don't think it's on Peacock anymore. Aww. <laughs> oh, well. I was going to do a rewatch and then, like, you know, like an episode later, it was, like, leaving in two days. Oh, that sucks. So, you know. That's awful. Physical media. Support yes. Us. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah, I still really enjoyed this movie, and, and you thought it was okay, and, and that is okay. Yeah. 
I did not dislike it. There we Definitely go. Definitely did not dislike it. Yeah. Maybe just didn't didn't like it as much as you did. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And like you said, you're just not a fan of ghost stories, and you know that that's fine too. Yeah. Everybody's got their thing. Yeah, I don't. I'm still trying to figure out what my thing is. The, I mean, kinda. I think serial killers. Nope. All right. <laughs> So what you're saying is that uh, it's time to do another full franchise again. Oh, Lord. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, maybe not. I don't know. (laughs) Let's take that offline. Okay, all right. (laughs) Uh, Is there uh, anything remotely (laughs) slightly positive that in the last week? You know what? I went and saw Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Okay. And I loved it. Excellent. It was great. I, I have not seen it yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out plans on, on when I'm going to be able to do that. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. It was, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything for you. I don't, I appreciate I don't even that. really want to tell you anything about it. Yeah. Um, Indiana the, Jones is in it, though, Indiana right? Indiana Jones is in it, yes. Okay, all right. In, in, uh, in a lot of the scenes, Indiana Jones is in it. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Shit, that's a spoiler, too. <laughs> that means there's some scenes that he's not in. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck, what am I doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly, I re- spent the last couple weeks, I rewatched the first four. Nice. Uh, and so, so I am geared up. What'd you think of uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull on I... rewatch? I... Enjoyed it as much as I liked it the first time, which right. is that I like that movie quite a bit. Yeah, it it uh, it was more fun than I remembered it being. Yeah, uh, I saw that movie opening weekend, mm-hmm. which is not a thing that I usually do. Yeah, but uh, saw it with my mom. Aww. Uh In fact, I'm kind of thinking about just inviting her to see uh, Dial of Destiny because I have seen most of the Indiana Jones movies in the theater with my mom. You should. That sounds really nice. Uh, I don't think she's been to a movie in probably five years. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, uh, so saw that in the theater. It was packed. Yeah. Uh, And, you know, again, not not a thing that I'm into. Uh, People. Right. (laughs) Yeah, no thanks. Yes. Um... And I remember, like, early on, there was, like, a little kid. Like, a little, little kid who just got so fucking excited. And, like, he was cheering. Aww. And, like, clapping. And I was like, you know what? God bless this kid. This movie rules. Yeah. (laughs) That's great. Uh, And then, yeah, like, people just kept shitting on it all the time. And I was just like... Everything that they mentioned that is, like, a terrible thing that this movie did to ruin Indiana Jones, they're all in the other three movies, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Temple of Doom is uh, straight nonsense. Yeah. Throughout. Yep. <laughs> and that's my favorite one. Is it? Okay. <laughs> I also realize maybe the worst one, but... Man, I cannot get past Willie. She is... She is the worst. She is the worst. Uh, I'd, uh, uh, short round though, yeah. uh, especially in the, the, the wake of the last year or so, uh-huh. man, those scenes hit real different this time. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, the, I, I think I had only seen it maybe twice before rewatching it yeah. within the past month or so. And yeah, I have a, a really, really newfound fondness for short rounds. Yep. Uh, although it does make me wonder what horrible fate befell him between, uh, <laughs> Temple and Raiders. <laughs> he retires. It's I, fine. I hope so. He's fine. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and I could give a shit what happened to Willie. Right. Yeah. No one cares. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Indy realized she was the worst. Yep. And left her behind. <laughs> Yeah, I remember like people complaining about King of the Crystal Skull, and I'm watching Raiders and thinking, there is a monkey that hiles Hitler at one point uh-huh. in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that monkey is a Nazi. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So, so Dial of Destiny, thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, I look Definitely. forward to seeing it. Yeah, really fun. Phoebe Waller Bridge, uh, she, she's getting it. She's great. Oh, I love, I love Phoebe Waller Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you watched Fleabag? I have. Okay, good. Uh, like a month, month and a half ago. Okay. Uh, honestly, based on the recommendation from you and my lady friend. Okay. 
and I read deep. Like I, I try not to binge things, but but I went through it pretty quick. It's hard not to just watch all at once. Yeah, and uh, by the last episode, I had uh, a terrible existential crisis. Yeah, uh, it was not good. Yeah, and I almost decided that I was never going to talk to either of you ever again for oh, recommending no. that show. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Made me feel real bad. Oh, I'm sorry. It was great. Yeah. I, I loved it. But boy, did it just sort of uh, crush me hard. <laughs> just It's kind of a crushing ending. Yeah. <laughs> Made me feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's a great show. It really is. <laughs> Recommended. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's... Uh, what's bringing you some happiness this week uh personal accomplishments yeah uh like like just just little things like i I came home yesterday and i vacuumed uh that's huge yeah honestly having a clean apartment or just doing things to improve your living space is a huge mental health boost yeah I vacuumed, I did my dishes, Yeah. cooked myself a dinner. I hadn't done that in probably longer than I should have. Yeah. Uh, and, and also, you know, eh, the side effect of, of insomnia that I've had for like the last week. But I've also, like, uh, you know, I'm doing a convention in a couple weeks here. And I've, I've been cutting and trimming prints for sale. Uh, you know, I knocked out like... 25 of them uh, this afternoon alone. Nice. Uh, just I'm just getting shit done. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm exhausted, but uh, I'm feeling good about it. Good. Good for you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh. <laughs> and now we're tired. Yes, we are. <laughs> you want me to pick something? Uh, that would be great. Okay. Uh... So I was, I was, uh, I was struggling before we started to record. I wrote down a bunch of stuff, um, and uh, I think I have a winner. If you haven't seen it already, all right. Have you seen a movie called Thirteen Fanboy? Never even heard of it. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna watch that. All right. <laughs> it's on Paramount Plus. All righty. Slash Showtime. Thirteen Fanboy. Yes. Okay. It ties into something we talked about earlier. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> and I will leave it at that. Okie doke. Uh, we will talk about 13 Fanboy next week. <laughs> Sounds good. Good. Bye. Mm. Bye. Thank you for listening to The Viewmasters. You can subscribe to the show directly at our website, view.guttertrash.net or on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Visit our website at view.guttertrash.net for information about our Twitter and Instagram. Once again, thank you for listening to The Viewmasters. We'll see you next time.